Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about De Morgan's Law and this is the part 1 of De Morgan's Law. Here we are going to discuss only two. As you can see I have noted down these two expressions. First expression says A union B and the inverse of whole that means the complement set of A union B is equal to the complement set of A intersection the complement set of B. And the second rule says A intersection B whole's complement is equal to A complement union B complement. So this we are going to learn or this we are going to prove using Venn diagrams. So you can see one Venn diagram on the screen. The rectangle represent the universal set. Set A is represented by the orange circle and set B is represented by the green circle. So what is A union B? A union B will be this area. This area will be known as A union B. And what will be the complement of A union B? The complement of the A union B will be the remaining area of the universal set. That means this area will be the complement of A union B. So this is the left part of the first rule or the first law. And to understand it better, let me draw two more pictures like this. In first picture we have universal set and set A and in the second picture we have universal set and set B. Right? Where this orange circle represents the set A and if we talk about the area which represents A dash or the complement set of A that will be this area. This area will represent the complement of set A. So complementary set of set A is the set of elements of universal set which are not there in set A. Similarly, if we talk about the complement set of set B, this area will represent the complement set of set B. This is the area which will have all the elements of universal set which are not there in set B. And now how to find the intersection of A complement and B complement. To find that, let me overlap these two diagrams and see the area where we have both green and purple color. So the area where we have both green and purple color will actually be the area of intersection of A complement and B complement and that area if you see properly is this area right and this is nothing but the area which I have shaded in purple in the first drawing right. So from here we can see that A union B whole complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. So this is the proof using Venn diagram of the first law and in similar way we can find the proof of the second law also. So here we have our original drawing where we have one universal set and two sets A and B and in the next law we have to find the complement of A intersection B. So what is A intersection B? A intersection B is actually this area right and what will be the complement of A intersection B? The complement of A intersection B will be the whole area of universal set which doesn't belong to A intersection B. That means this area will be the complement of A intersection B. The area which I have represented in light green will be the area which actually represent the complement of A intersection B. Right? And what about the right side? To understand the right side properly, let me again draw two sets separately. So these are set A and set B. The second rule says A intersection B complement is equal to A complement union B complement. So the first drawing here represent the set A and the universal set. That means this area will represent A complement and this area will represent B complement. The area inside the green circle is B, so the area outside the green circle but inside the universal rectangle will represent the B complement. And what about A complement union B complement? To understand it better, let me overlap these two figures. So if I overlap, we'll get this drawing and the area where either we can find the orange dots or the orange spray or we can find the blue spray will be the area representing A complement union B complement, right? That means this area where we have only blue spray and this area where we have only orange spray and this area where we have spray of both the colors, they all represent A complement union B complement. 
So this area which I have shaded in lilac or the light blue color actually represents A complement union B complement, right? Because this is the area which represents A complement and this is the area which represents B complement. And union of these two will have all the spray either in blue or in orange or both. Right? So this will be the total area which represents A complement union B complement. And this area is nothing but the area which I have shaded in light green in the first diagram. Right? So this is the proof for the second De Morgan's law. And in next video we are going to learn rest of the De Morgan's law. Keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.